In this video, I am going to derive the expression for order of the filter n and cutoff frequency for Butterworth low pass filter. The magnitude squared frequency response of a Butterworth filter is given by h of j omega square is equal to 1 over 1 plus omega by omega c power 2n. Here n is order of the filter and omega c is cutoff frequency of the filter and omega is a frequency. We we'll call it as equation 1. So now we are supposed to derive the expression for n and the expression for cutoff frequency omega c. Let me draw the characteristic of analog Butterworth filter. Here the magnitude is h of j omega square. In dB, this h of j omega square can be represented as twenty log h of j omega that is magnitude squared response in db it is represented as 20 log h of j omega in design of any filter the requirement are kp ks omega p and omega e. here kp is passband edge attenuation ks is top band edge attenuation omega p is passband frequency and omega s is top band frequency this is omega a common set of conditions for the frequency response of a low pass filter is given by here we have zero zero greater than or equal to Twenty log h of j omega, which is greater than or equal to kp for all omega is less than or equal to omega p, and another condition is twenty log h of j omega less than or equal to ks for all omega greater than or equal to omega s yes. we will call it as equation a we will call it as equation b now let us derive order of the filter n that is we know that from equation 1 I can write from equation 1 that is the squared magnitude response of Butterworth filter is given by h of j omega square 1 over 1 plus omega by omega c power 2n so for this equation taking 10 log to the base 10 on both side I'll take 10 log 10 on both side so this equation can be represented as 10 log 10 h of j omega square is equal to 10 log 10 1 over 1 plus omega by omega c power 2n let me simplify this so by logarithmic rule i can apply and i can write it as 20 log 10 h of j omega which is equal to we know that log a by b can be represented as log a minus log b therefore i can write it as 10 log to the base 10 1 minus 10 log to the base 10 
वन प्लस ओमेगा बाय ओमेगा सी पावर टू एन सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस आई कैन राइट ट्वेंटी लॉग एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू टेन लॉग वन टू द बेस टेन वैल्यू इज जीरो माइनस आई विल राइट दिस टर्म एज इट इज टेन वन प्लस ओमेगा बाय ओमेगा सी पावर टू एन सो आई विल कॉल इट एज इक्वेशन वन now substituting pass band edge specifications in equation 1 we get so here now here we can see that at omega equal to omega p the value is kp now let me consider omega equal to omega p in equation 1 therefore i can write 20 log h of j omega at omega equal to omega p will be kp that is nothing but from equation 1 i can write 10 log to the base 10 we have 1 plus omega so omega is omega p by omega c power 2n so therefore i can write it as minus 10 log to the base 10 1 plus i will write the same term omega p by omega c power 2n is equal to kp so i will take this minus 10 on right hand side i will get log to the base 10 1 plus omega p by omega c power 2n is equal to if i take minus 10 on other side it will be 1 by 10 1 by 10 is nothing but minus 0.1 kp 0.1 is nothing but 1 by 10 now taking anti log on both side i can write 1 plus omega p by omega c power 2n is equal to 10 power 0.1 kp or i can write it as omega by omega p by omega c power 2n is equal to 10 power minus 0.1 kp i'll take this one on other side it will be minus 1 we'll call it as equation 2 now similarly consider now substituting top band edge specifications in equation 1 we get so here we can see that at omega equal to omega s the value is ks now let me consider omega s and ks in this equation 1 so that at omega equal to omega s we supposed to consider therefore i can write 20 log to the base 10 h of j omega at omega equal to omega s its value will be ks in previous case it was kp now it is ks is equal to minus 10 log 1 plus so omega value is omega s by omega c power 2n to the base 10 or i can write minus 10 log 1 plus omega s by omega c power 2n is equal to ks or i can write i'll take this minus 10 on right hand side log 1 plus omega s by omega c is equal to minus 0.1 ks 
now again taking anti log on both side i can write 1 plus omega s by omega c power 2n is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks or i can write omega s by omega c power 2n is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 we'll call it as equation 3 now equation 2 divided by equation 3 we get so equation 2 is omega p by omega c power 2n divided by in equation 3 on LHS we have omega s by omega c power 2n is equal to it is 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 so therefore i can write here simplifying this we'll get omega c power 2n omega c power 2n will get cancelled we'll get omega p by omega s power 2n is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 now again taking log on both side taking log on both side I'll get log omega p by omega s power 2n is equal to log 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1. So further I can simplify this as 2n log. omega p by omega s is equal to on right hand side i will keep the term as it is that is log 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 or i can write it as 2n is equal to log of 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 divided by i'll take this log on right hand side that is log omega p by omega s therefore i can write finally the order of the filter n is equal to log 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 divided by 10 power minus 0 0.1 ks minus 1 divided by 2 log omega p by omega s so this is order of the filter n this is the derivation here the value of n is value of n is rounded off to next nearest integer that is if we get n is equal to 2.3 we'll take it as n equal to 3 Likewise, if we get n equal to 3.8, we'll rounded it, rounded it off to next nearest integer that is n equal to 4. Now, let me derive the expression for cutoff frequency omega c. So, now here I can write from equation 2.
we have omega p by omega c power 2n is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1. So here I can simplify this as omega p by omega c is equal to 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 power this 2n I will take it on right hand side it will become 1 over 2n so therefore I can write omega c is equal to omega p divided by this whole thing that is 10 power minus 0 0.1 kp minus 1 power 1 upon 2n radians per second so this is the expression for cutoff frequency omega c thank you for watching